Well, hello, folks. This here is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And uh, I just got to thinking, a year ago, uh, December the 20th, 2021, is when I got involved in this uh, Bill Reddick Outdoors YouTube. And to be honest with you, it started out more or less as just a joke to my wife and my daughter. I had made a little uh, video of me and my grandson fishing and they looked at it and said, you ought to make a YouTube channel and put that up. And so I, I did just as a joke. And uh, Some of my family <clears throat> and friends saw it and said, man, that's good. They lied. <laughs> it wasn't that good. I'm, I'm not a photographer. My camera shots, I had scenes showing the bottom of the floor of the boat for minutes after minutes and scenes up in the sky looking at nothing for minutes and minutes. And one time I had zoomed in and so everything was so close you couldn't see it. It was horrible, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> but but uh, they were kind to me and said, you should make another one. And I got to thinking about it and I decided that uh, maybe I would try to do another one and see if I couldn't do a little bit better quality. Now, it, no way it's professional quality. And, and so I did and it was a little bit better. And, and I enjoyed it. I was I was having a good good time. It turned into a good hobby for me, and I wasn't trying to make a, a great big huge uh, YouTube channel. I was just uh, filming what I did on the weekends and on my days off with my grandkids and my friends, uh, fishing and hunting and, and stuff. And and I just I didn't spend no money. I, I just did it all on my iPhone, and uh, I was having a ball doing it. And I I had a pretty good run there for about five months and May the 25th came and I found out real quick uh, life can change in a hurry the day before that I could do a one-handed push-up on this arm a one-handed push-up on this arm I was 61 years old I could do things that 25 year olds couldn't do I was a pretty good physical uh, shape but uh, that morning I woke up and I noticed a little blurriness out in the side of my vision. I didn't think anything about it. Long story short, as the day went on, I ended up in the emergency room. I was having a stroke and they said on a scale of one to five, a five being bad, you're about a one and a half, maybe two. So you're real lucky it's not that bad. Well, as the time went on, I got worse and worse and by the end of that day, that had changed from be, being a one and a half or two to about a four and a half. And I just got back from my appointment uh, yesterday with my neurologist and I asked her, where am I at on that scale now? And she said, Mr. Reddick, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the kind of stroke you had kills a lot of people. So you're doing really well. And uh, folks, I don't know if y'all noticed it or not, but when I made my videos, uh, I would always uh, somehow in the video sometimes sometimes I would forget I try not to I would put I would have the cross in my videos whether I was in the woods or in, at the river or, or whatever just for a brief moment and I didn't try to beat people over the head about uh, Jesus but I always tried to uh, carry Jesus along with me and I tried to do that in my everyday life just in case you don't know my Lord, I, I wish you wouldn't investigate him for a little bit, okay? And, and that's all I'm going to say about that other than the reason I'm where I am today is because of God. There's a lot of things that changed with me. I, I used to could do stuff I can't do no more. Uh, when that stroke hit me, I was completely paralyzed on my right side. I could not move my right leg, my right arm at all. Uh, my speech was in, uh, affected terribly and I still don't sound like I used to but at least you can understand me and God God has done some healing in my life you see I can pick this hand up now uh, I got a long way to go to get back to where I used to be but with the Lord's help maybe I can get there one day and if I don't that's okay too because one thing that hadn't changed is God is still God okay but I was a uh, reminiscing in my mind while I was out here. I took a little walk in the woods. I, I can't walk very far these days. I don't have the strength. I get give out. But 
I'd like to take a little walk behind the house in the woods and, and just sit and think. Folks, I tell you, I really miss getting out in the outdoors like I, I used to be able to do. I'm beginning to get to where I can tie on a fishing hook. And I've been practicing a, a casting rod and reel on my left hand so I can see some fishing uh, maybe not too long in the future. And my shoulder has been real sore, but I, I got to doing some exercises and work some of that soreness out of it. And I said, I believe I can pick up my rifle and, and maybe put it on a, a stand or some, some shooting sticks and, and maybe can shoot a deer. And so I got it out to practice with it and I could manage to get it up on, on, on something. <laughs> and, and I can't hold it very steady. He's pretty safe when I squeeze the trigger. Nothing happened. And I was kind of glad because I didn't know if I was going to be able to hold on to it or not. And so uh, I, I thought my gun was messed up, and so I, I made sure it was unloaded, uh, of course I have. And I put it in my left hand. Of course, I can't hold it up with my right arm on the forearm. And so I squeeze the trigger with my left hand, snap. I ain't got enough strength yet in my trigger finger to pull the trigger. <laughs> so I guess the deer is pretty safe for me this year. <laughs> They better watch out next year, though. <laughs> and I was thinking about my YouTube journey and how I was doing videos and having such a good time. And then this stroke happened. I had a little bit of a, a following that people enjoyed my stuff. And I'm so appreciative of everyone that subscribes and likes my videos and, and watches. It means the world to me. And uh, there's some other YouTubers out there that I watch, too. And B and I can't get out and, and do the fishing and, and hunting and the outdoor stuff like I used to. Uh, I, I got to watching YouTube and there was uh, a few people I made uh, pretty good friends with on YouTube. But one of them in particular, I had commented on his video. I'd watched it and I liked his stuff. And I commented, I said, man, keep those videos coming. That's the kind of stuff I love to do. And I've just had a stroke, and it's going to be a while before I can get back to doing it. And this guy uh, commented back, said, Well, Bill, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll be praying for you, and I'll try to keep those videos coming. So I would like to uh, send a shout-out to my good buddy, uh, Catfish Kyle. I just love watching his stuff. And so if y'all hadn't uh, heard of his channel, check him out. It's Catfish Kyle. But today I would like to share something a little personal with you. Uh, to kind of show you how I've come on my journey. Uh, I used to play guitar and I prayed to the Lord and said, Lord, please let me be able to play again one day. So this is kind of uh, how God has uh, helped heal me and is continuing to heal me. I hope y'all enjoy this. Uh, my emotions since my stroke have been terrible. Uh, Sorry, I'm not love. I used to be sing the high notes up there with Jim, that don't happen no more, I can't reach them. I can get the low notes down there with Neil, and that don't happen no more, I can't reach them either. And uh, I don't have the wind to hold out notes, uh, and I have problems hitting the right pitch and all, but that don't bother me, because I can still praise my Lord. Hey. We're gonna uh, we try to make a draw for more. I come
and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we carry there, none other has ever known. This background music is how I used to play. Yeah.